So out here, Jason Abbott, Honda guy. Tell us uh, what today's been like on this 450L. Yeah, today's been just an absolute blast. Um, just soaking up and enjoying every bit of the Pacific Northwest. Um, yeah, it's, you know, between the bike and, and the trails and the scenery, um, this is everything I could have uh, hoped for. So yeah, it's, it's really good. So we've had a bit of everything. We had some, some road, some fast fire road, and then some tight single track, and then some not so tight single track. And the bike seemed to do really good. Yeah, so far, um, everything's really, really good. We got it, you know, dialed in. And, uh, um, you know, when we came out here a couple days before the intro, we rode and uh, made a few minor, a uh, few minor adjustments. But realistically, we're, we're pretty darn close to stock. So this bike feels really smooth on the fast fire road. Tell, talk a little bit about what you've got going on with it, the chain ring and the swing arm. Yeah, so out and back, um, you know, the... The big deal with, with this bike being that it was gonna be on the road, we wanted it to be quiet. And so um, on the rear sprocket and front sprocket as well, um, there's a rubber damper and uh, along with the O-ring chain. And then the swing arm is actually uh, a urethane uh, material uh, inside, the, inside the swing arm. So basically when you're on road, you don't have any of the chain slap, you don't have any of that rear swing arm noise. It's very, very quiet. Um, along with the engine and the engine covers, I mean these little uh, plastic engine covers, um, you know, reduce vibration, reduce noise. Um, all that put together um, really, really is noticeable on on road and off road. Uh, can you talk a little bit about the suspension and how it how it um, stacks up against the X model and the motocross models? Yeah, so I mean, all the CRF models have all the same suspension components. You have the 49 millimeter, um, you know, A kit style fork. Um, show a shock. Um, they all have the same um, housing and the internals have been adjusted for you know the off-road uh, riding that we're going to do. Um, the, the X is a, you know the X and the L are essentially um, the same platform where you know the R and RX um, kind of share their platform as well. And then talk a little bit about the gauge and, and your favorite feature the, uh, the, <laughs> the gas left is it or how does yeah, that work? So, so, the, the new digital meter is really, really cool. It's very easy to read. It's, it's super simple. Um, you know, it has obviously the miles that the bike has been on, and then you can set uh, trip A and trip B. You also have um, uh, fuel consumption as miles per gallon, and then you have a current miles per gallon. But my favorite feature of the whole dash is basically it tells you how many gallons you've used. So I think right now we're like, we've used 0.8 a gallon. Um, so just to know that and just to have that in your head um, and not guess and not have to look at your, you know, a clear tank or not have to check your tank, um, man, that just to know how much gas you use and, and it just puts you at ease. And especially when you're in the middle of nowhere, um, that really makes all the difference in the world. So there was some confusion about the horsepower numbers on this bike from Europe when it was first launched. And we, we know that that's a mistake because having ridden this bike today, this bike's got tons of power. Um, it's definitely, you know, uh, up there with the other brands as far as the uh, um, power and uh, power delivery and traction and that kind of stuff. So, uh, where, where do you think roughly you are on horsepower? Oh, we're we're in the 40s. Um, you know, the initial reports uh, from Europe uh, were stating I think it was like 25 horsepower or something. Um, over there, they have different uh, regulations. So, for the U.S., um, we're we're in the 40s, um, and you can feel it. It has a very good, uh, strong, torquey character. Um, something else that really like stands out between the R and the, and the XL model is uh, the added mass to the crank, and there's actually added weight to the, to the uh, clutch basket. So what that does is that smooths out the power delivery, and that's why it feels so smooth and so easy to use. And you can actually ride up like say third or fourth gear and really lug it, and the thing doesn't chatter. It, it, roll, it keeps the, mo the, the forward momentum uh, going really well. So we're gonna get a sandwich over here now, uh, and we've got another half day of riding. What, what's the rest of the trails gonna be like today? Yeah, it's uh, it just keeps getting better. Um, you know, we, we have some some twisty paved roads. Um, you know, with tree coverage, um, we have some really really fun two track that goes up to uh, an outlook that um, you know you can, it, I'm hoping that uh, it's clear so we can see the surrounding mountains, uh, Mount St. Helens. Uh, Rainier, all of those, um, but we'll see when we get there. That's kind of like kind of the gamble, right? So, yeah, I think uh, this lunch stop is is much needed. We'll get some refreshments and some food and get back on it.